and um, so this so this celebration of, of, of anything that anyone creates because instead of critiquing it with our limited and our, our prejudices and whatever we, we should rather than so critique something just stuff. celebrate that it exists Oh, yeah, right. And how much of someone's soul you see when they share with you something they created that they didn't have to create, that they didn't have to do, you know? How sweet that is. Anything, like a poem, like you would, you're going to read. So, so anyway, just to a point of, like, clarity about that. And, uh, and now it just feels like, whoa, I really want to make music, and I'm hearing all of this music that seems to be combining my tastes... Because we do have taste, and that's fine and stuff. Yeah. But, like, into one sound that is so eclectic and wonderful. It's like a dream I did not know I was dreaming coming true. You know, it's just like, okay, well, I love African music. Uh, I love acoustic. I love Americana, blues, bluegrass, country, uh, hip-hop. This is your inspiration when you go play with your father? Well, I'm just saying I've heard music lately that's really inspiring, and to me, African music, roots of rhythm, and the, the roots of rhythm, these are the roots of rhythm, and the roots of rhythm remain, you know, the, the Paul Simon. <clears throat> Stuff like that is like, whoa, duh, this is all of us. And for me, at least, I'm just like lit up with that sound, with those beats and those, and those instruments and stuff, and I'm coming around to like indie band, like, you know, whatever it is that, that are like feeling that too. It's like white people, but you know, whatever, it's... It doesn't matter. It's there, and it's coming out. Mm -hmm. It's like I just saw these bands in Iowa City performing of, you know, transforming a drum kit into like this, you know, taking it back, like appropriating it, appropriating it to make to build like an African rhythm and 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 standing up and playing it and yelling up into a microphone that's like you know really like ah yeah yeah you know just try and you're like, what am I seeing? I'm at a rock show, you know, mm -hmm. tee and uh, what's the text? So, so then I come to, um, to my friend here, and she shares with me, well, my favorite, if I only had one CD, it'd be this, and it's this beautiful, rooted, historically charged, you know, music with clear, like, African, African rhythms and, and beats and instrumentation, so well, yeah. and it's like, my, it's like my, that, but I love, like, you know, I love, like, like this, this band I just saw, Tune Yards, is a woman where her, her voice, her soul is just like pouring out of her through his voice, and she's so naturally a musician, and uh, it's like a, a, an acoustic electric like ukulele thing with building a looped beat by like rat tat tatting on her mic stand, and then boom, tom drops, and then a bass comes in, and it's like all of these things can fit together in a very interesting way to me. It just seems to be a reflection of our time and our you know human evolution to this point. It's like this. Uh, melting, merging of it all, and uh, so anyway, I'm just exp I'm inspired by that and these sounds that I'm hearing that I think, oh okay, this is how music, music that goes beyond just me playing for myself, which was a part of my development to this point. But then I'm at, I think I'm at a, a realization that it's really meant to be, it's it exists for connecting people. Therefore, it needs needs or it can be so much more powerful when made together. And it can be so much more potent and, and uh, enjoyable when made together. And things get better when you when you open yourself up and it's you, you become vulnerable. But then you're 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 heaped with rewards of you know other people's talents and 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 contributions. And uh, I'm talking forever. So again, it goes back to connectedness. Connectedness. Anyway, so I'm thinking, okay, this needs to be shared. My point being, my dad calls me up and says. Uh, while I'm having this own personal feeling, like, oh, I want to make music, I want to make music. A lot of friends that have equipment and things that it's just like, I've been so quiet about it, it's almost, it's, it is ridiculous. I've just been scared to say anything because I know that it's so available to me to, like, record anything or utilize instruments or have people join and sing. And just, you know, but it's there. So anyway, now I'm like, can I do this too? <laughs> And of course they're like, yes! So, um, but my dad calls and goes, yeah, so this book's wrapping up and I think the, the, I, I'm sensing the next project for me will be, uh, I'm going to produce an album. You know, everyone.
every young people, I want you know your healing prayer song. We get that on you and Veronica because my stepsister is singing. And uh, just think about how you would want to like record that and stuff. And I, you know, we're gonna take this thing on the road. And uh, Baha'is, non-Baha'is, friends, whatever. <laughs> we need to share with people like a like a spiritual Broadway act. Uh, you know, spiritualized, broad, uh, just just a dance, writing, literature, poetry, music, perform. You know, uh, acting, uh, uh, just whatever people want to bring. I think honestly, it's like the electric acid Kool Aid test, minus minus the jugs of drugs. <laughs> yes, I just tiny claps. I just came up with jugs of drugs. Um, so, because I, because, because who needs them anymore? Seriously. No, I mean, whatever, everybody's where they're at, that's fine. What do I know? But that, of course, to me was like, Dad, you nuts, you nuts, you nuts. That's actually pretty exciting. Okay, I'll do it. You know, I mean, it's like, that's how, that's how he works, often, on me at least. Anyway... What are people doing in the next six months? Because you might get a call, is what I'm saying.